Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Age. Last time we left off, we were playing as Shay here and we're now visiting the city of Mariloft of him to see what we can find to fix the ship. Now, I also gotta bring up here that um, this is like the third different recording setup that I'm using for this because I don't know why I'm having kind of like difficulty recording this game for a little while. It's um, a program I use called, uh, called DX Tori. I, I love it, but for this game, it always brings it down to 15 frames per second. I think, it's I think it's because the actual characters move at 15, but everything else is 60, but it won't lock on that 60. And all the other programs either made it way too high in uh, video files or the quality wasn't that great, so I'm, tr I'm trying another one and well, we're, we're going to see if this works. Hopefully it will, but, uh, uh, we'll see. Regardless, let's see who we can, uh, talk to now. I, I don't think we talked to these, these guys just yet, so let's, uh, speak to them. Hi, my name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Vuska. This here is Walter. Walt Er. Sticking with that, are you? Husker? I mean, it looks like Husker. Who, Husker? I, uh, that's, that's a name. Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait. It's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> it's a cult thing. We all know it. Except that Walter. Oh. You mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thru- mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's pretty obvious. Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chafra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Bella, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. Yeah, to have some common sense. Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> no, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? <laughs> Sounds like something from a kid's action program. Huh. Yeah, something to entertain little kids, maybe. <laughs> What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. I... I think we should tell him where his wife is. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Wait a minute. Husker, I don't even know that's really proper for you to say. How would you know that... Was... Hold on a minute. Let me talk to him well, see if there's anything see else you guys here. Later. No, Take care, nothing. Shay. Maybe he has a point, but at the same time, it's like, dude... You know, it's his, it's his wife. You don't know. You don't know his life. So, uh, what? You know what? Screw it. Let's continue looking, looking around, talking to whoever we want to. Um. Hey, hey. Want to buy a cup? Uh. Uh. Sure. Oh, it's, it's a, a fundraiser. A... Good cause. Do we know her? They've got red frosting. Okay, I was about to say, like, do we know Vella's yes. sister's name? But I guess it's Rocky. Are you ready for some cupcakes for a good cause? Hi. I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? Uh, sure. I love cupcakes. I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? No. No, but I support your cause. That's great, but we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? But, but I don't... I don't know we're supposed to get some money, but we'll find it. What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. 
Yeah, cupcakes against lies. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes, yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions, until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger, until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Very true. You gotta start small for anything you do. I was gonna say, do they even go to any other cities? But, uh... Uh, they gotta start small, like I said. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the Maiden's Feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing Persons Awareness Campaign and Revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. Yeah. Cup, uh, bake sale. Whatever. So we need some money. Uh, we'll see if we can find that. Actually, I seen the da back there. There's Chet and uh, Vela's grandfather. What the hell are they even doing? <laughs> Looks like they're fighting. Okay, or... old man. This time, you're going down! <sighs> Maybe you shouldn't scream your attacks like I do in every other movie? Say there. Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Ooh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? Just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Well, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony, but I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. That'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a lawyer. And your dad's an idiot falling for a... Uh... I don't even know, it's just a scheme in general. We all know Harmony's fake, honestly. I mean, you saw him. But, uh, regardless. Why are you beating up this little kid? I'm not. I'm teaching him how to fight. I'm on lesson five. He begged me. What are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. Uh-huh. Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. The best is gun in the West. Dang. Almost out of the red stick. Well, I got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. <laughs> so his cane is, uh, full of frosting, huh? Okay. You frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? Can't help it. I see a blank cupcake, I just have to frost it. I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. Like me, with fighting! Hell yeah, go 100% or go home. Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go. Now that Bella's inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog red in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. Uh, I still need the cane. It's where I keep my frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! I am! Oh. Hmm. 
So it kind of seems like we might need that cane later on. Okay. Regardless, we have, uh... What the hell was I going to say? We have... Uh, some money, thanks to Chet. And it seems like we're going to... We can use that to buy a cupcake. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if I can hey, have... hey! You want to buy a cupcake? So it looks like, like a... I just a gold Inca it's coin or something, but regardless, here you go. Pause. Tell him, hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? I got money. Great! I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone, so now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. We're going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. They've got red frosting! Aww. I feel so bad for yes. Rocky. Oh, it's ready. okay. I mean, I, I think we everybody does that. Like, whoever has siblings out there, you kind of take them for granted. It's like, nah, but You know, deep down, you love them. Now, I am not sure if Walter explained it, but he he did say something about him kind of having like a sweet tooth. And something about, like, cupcakes where he only looks to frosting. So, I'm not sure if you mentioned it already, but this is what you want to do. Go ahead and give the cupcake over to him, and you'll see exactly what he's going to do. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about... Eating my daughter's face. Ah, oh, Husker. That's the best part. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten now. I don't see. This is what makes Walter very creepy. I I don't know. That that, that whole entire scene is like, oh dear God, dude. Huh. <sighs> that, is, that is disgusting. He just eats the frosting and gives it back to me, dude. I yeah, good job. You really got him. You really got him. And you remember how this old man said that he can only he has frosting enough for just one more cake? Well, here you go. This is a blank cupcake. Hey, wanna frost this? Oh darn. Why'd I go and do that? Now I don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for Bella. You can give her this one. Oh, hey! Good idea. Here, you can take my apple. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Okay. Okay, but uh, I don't think we want it for that purpose. <laughs> There's still another place we need to go check. If you notice that we, I haven't checked the um, that area past Jesse the bird. We're gonna do that hey, right hey. now because I think, from what I remember. We needed that cane uh, for what's going to be coming up, so I think so. I can't remember. The, the whole second portion of this game, I'm a little bit more iffy on, but I, uh, like I said, I should be all right. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. Okay. Well, screw you, Gus. So she, Jesse is snoring. How is she? She looks drunk. That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should. Uh oh. Oh. Ow. Hmm. Trouble hatching. I better not huh? move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. So we probably need something to help that process move along. Although. I do not think we actually have what we need just yet, so we're just going to go past Jesse and go up here. Take us! Take us down! We are in our prime! Eat our sweet rewards! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little... Eat our sacred... How about we just skip that line? Okay. So, why are they up here? From its rotten bed. 
Are, are, are they just trying to find a new thing to worship? I don't know. What are you guys doing? Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Wait, wait, why don't you have... Why are you naked under there? You, uh, hold on. Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is. The answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. So what, you think that Alex was a false prophet? I mean, we well, he did say he got carried away when people kept calling him the dead eye God, and he's like, I didn't say anything, because you know, God and all that, so... Mm -mm -mm. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But, apparently, he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit, and since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. That's really bad logical reasoning there. You were, you, you said the riddle of Yorn was based on this girl, Becky Yorn, you hated her or something, or whatever. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work, because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our ropes. Oh, that kind of makes me kind of feel bad for them, but, uh... Well, I need those robes. And, uh... I guess we need to fight them for it. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet! He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it! No, I'm not going to beat anybody up, but I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals, so if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. Well, okay, I'll go get a stick. And I'm gonna fight you for it. But if you guys remember, I did get a cane. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. So first Wait, off, don't talk crap about my yarn pals. You know, the they're they're my friends for like I got on so many years. Alone in that crazy tree. ship. Maybe and I'm gonna get those robes whether you guys like it or not. Or the rotten vet. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. <laughs> You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed them because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. 
Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? That's what I get for learning defense with candy canes. I mean, that's true, but look what you did, Shay. You... You liberated... You liberated them. God, I can't speak. And... <laughs> they really were naked under there, huh? Uh, well... I, I'll just take, take this. These before those druids get cold and come back. Oh my god, in heaven. Okay, well... <laughs> that happened. But you know, I'm I'm happy for them. Don and Courtney, they're just looking out for each other. Those are good friends right there. They're looking out for each other, really care about each other. And they're gonna go out and start their lives together. Nice. Hotel management and graphic design and starting a band. Okay. I mean, they probably should have gotten close from somebody before just taking off like that, but uh it's okay. I'm sure they'll be alright. And I guess yeah, I'll go ahead and call it an episode right now. In the next one, we will continue going through Mariloft and seeing what else we can do uh, to fix the ship. What the hell? And we'll also investigate what the, those drinking sounds, too. It's like, what the hell? So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Broken Age. I'll see you guys later.